previous video. So in the previous video, we have seen uh, how to declare the one-dimensional array and what is array types of array, those topics we have covered in the last video. So in this video, uh, we have to see about the next one that is multi-dimensional array. So multi-dimensional array is the second type of the array. In this array, we are having more than one subscripts, more than one subscripts. So the array name is same, single array variable, but in the single array variable, uh, use more than one subscripts, uh, so it is called multi-dimensional array. And this array also has one syntax to declare it. Uh, that syntax is, this is data type, uh, double subscripts we have used. So the subscript must be typed in the open square bracket and close square bracket. So this is the subscript. Here we are having two subscripts, that means this is a two-dimensional array. And here A, so this is variable. So we may use any username as a variable here, is equal to new. So we use a keyword which is used for allocated memory uh, for that variable based on their data stored in it. And then next is data type. So the data type is specified with the data which is stored in the variable. And it has two subscripts. One subscript represents the data in the row wise and second subscript represents the data in the column wise. So for that we are using two subscripts. And we may also use more than two subscripts because it is a multi-dimensional array. Or we may define the same one in a different format, that is the next one, data type, A, subscripts, two subscripts we have put. So that's me, uh, the data type is single here, I have not put any subscripts. Instead that, uh, in back of the uh, variable, I have two subscripts. So it's equal to the same one name, data type, and then one subscript I have represent the uh, data, how many data I have stored in the row wise and how many data I have stored in the column wise. And these two declaration parties end with semicolon. So this is the uh, uh, declaration syntax for the uh, multidimensional array. And next, let me see. So let's see the example. Int a. Here I have used two subscripts. That's mean this is a two-dimensional array. So here I have put two subscripts. It's equal to new a of 10, 20 semicolons. Here 10 means uh, 10 data are stored in row wise in the variable name a, another variable name a. And 20 means the totally 20 data are stored in column wise under the variable name a. So this is the example of declaring multi-dimensional array. So next we see how to inspect the variable to the one-dimensional and the two-dimensional array. So in before video and the previous video and this video, I have explained uh, how to declare the uh, one-dimensional and two-dimensional array, uh, array variable in Java. So now I have to uh, explain. Uh, how to initialize? How to initialize the values in one-dimensional array? So it also has some syntax. To follow that syntax, you can initialize the value in one-dimensional array. The syntax is data type and variable. That may be username is equal to new. Sorry is equal to, we have to assign the variable, values. So, uh, we have to assign the values to the one-dimensional variable within the curly braces. Within the curly braces, value 1, value 2, up to value n, and close the curly braces and this line must be added with semicolon. Here, value 1, value 2, value 3 is all the data. So, those data are initialized to that variable name when you declare this array. So the insulation can be done in the declaration part. So the more than one data in the insulation part is separated by comma. Okay. So now we see the insulation values to the uh, 2D array. So how to insulate the values in the 2D array? So there also same one data type variable. And here we have to put double subscript. Here I have to put one subscript. And then within the curly braces, we have to write the values, but if this is a two-dimensional array, so you have to uh, type the values as a, each and every values as a set. That's me. Value 1 comma value 2 is one set. So the yes set can be embedded with curly braces. So within the set, we can store the data, a set of data. And then similarly, we can store the another set value 3 and value 4. So this is a second set. So in this set also contains more than one data. 
So, in this two dimensional array, I have uh, in slice two set of data. Each set has more than one values. So, similarly, I can store another set and other set. So, uh, this is the format for storing or uh, slicing the values in a two dimensional array. So, in this variable, two dimensional array, I have to slice the value, set of values to the variable. So, example for that. So, in slicing the one dimensional array, int a of 4. a of 4 is equal to within the value place 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. So, that means the 4 values are assigned into the single dimensional array. The maximum value we can store into the array is 4. And next two dimensional array, example for two dimensional array, int a of 2. One such thing value size is 2, another one is 2. So here I have to 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5 and 6, 6 comma 7. So here I have to store 2 number of rows is 2, number of columns is 2. Number of columns is 2. Because this two dimensional array I have mentioned that uh, value for maximum value for row wise is 2, column wise is 2. So you have to set the value uh, in row wise 2, column wise 2. So each and every set, uh, this is a row wise set and this is a column wise set. So this type of uh, instantiation we have to do for the two dimensional array. Thank you.